Hey, little y'all. Dwayne the desert right at you. I'm out here to do a little overnight stealth camp. Got my pack all ready. And my destination. I'm not going to go to the top because it's just too rounded up there. No flat spots. But up there on that other flat area up there. There's a spot up there that I can camp out. And I need to get going because I got 45 minutes till sunset. Might have some inclement weather rolling in. Not a bad pack, as long as you keep the weight down. I only rated it for like 35 pounds. Minimalist Ultra Light. It's a one Tigris pack. But for like little overnighters like this, stealth, it's pretty good. I'm gonna lock my stuff all up. head off but, uh, remember right last time the bet I went up that way last time but it was really rocky terrain, and then I came back down that way. So I'm gonna go back around and go up that way this time. It seemed like the most easiest route up there. Flower city out here. Bunch of desert flowers. I don't know if you can see them coming up. See all the little blues and yellows. And there's some oranges. Yeah. I'm gonna walk around out here with my little macro lens, just snapping up shots of them. I need to go this way. Find the easiest way through. There we go. That'll work. I don't know how much recording I'm going to do. Particularly, I only got three of these full batteries left. This one's down to 35, so I got three full batteries left, and that's it. I really wish it would have had clear skies. I was hoping to get some uh, sunset and maybe some sunrise video. save battery I'm just gonna make my way that way and when I get around the other side where I'm gonna start climbing up I did a little recording here I'm gonna have to change the battery out on this thing 14% yep my truck's way around there made my way up and this is where I started up this is where I went down last time yeah it looks a little rugged but you just gotta zigzag around the bushes and just slowly make my way up there yeah i'm not gonna do any recording on this and just just huffing and puffing it's steep all right a little bit further up came right between there yeah 
I had to put another battery in. So I'm just gonna go up around here and we'll pretty much be at the top. Helps to remember which way to come up here when you scout it out before. The rocks are really cool looking. How they form. Here's my view, and my truck's sitting over there. So yeah, I shut that annoying beep off. It's annoying now for a while. And uh, we'll be out some more. There we go. Yeah. As you see when we stay up here, a whole bunch of RVers out there. You can see them all. All camped out, spread out over there. Got their big fifth wheels and RVs out here. Very can. Day. Gives me a good view. Yeah, this will be my view tonight. Oh, look at that. There's a peak I hiked up to way out there. The truck will be fine there. So you can see that this is pretty much straight down. That's where I had to come around from the other way, and it's the same way on the other side. The steepest, most level spot to come up is over here, up and down. That I see so far. I don't know around behind this. All I know is that I'm not going to go up there where I want to go. I've seen people camp. I believe it's right up just past this rock cropping. And there's some people have made some flat spots. But I didn't look to see. Last time I went down, I went down on that side. That's fine. I'll find my way back down. Maybe morning, daylight, see what I'm doing. All I want to do is get up there. That's where I saw the areas where people have camped out before. And now I'm going to leave a camp out registry up there. So people can register when they camp. Go this way. Yeah. See where people trail there. Yeah. find an easier route. This pack is getting a little heavy on my back right now. Not the very most comfortable pack. This uh, one tiger's pack. Can't remember the name. What the name of it is, but maybe in the, in the comments, in the description, I'll put a description of the gear I had with me. Yeah, this is the actual way I came up last time. When I came back down, I made my way this way. I just kind of skirted around. Might have been around that way. Because I don't remember this ravine. Being on the other side of this ravine over here. This little, this little channel. Wash that runs down. <sighs> Either way, I'm going to be climbing. Stuff. Yeah, 
I like boulder hopping right now. I just want to get up there. I've seen some people, areas that were flattened out for camping. And just get my left, get this weight off of me. And then I can relax. Yeah, brought my chair with me. Moisture on me. All right. I can't remember where I seen them. I'm gonna look over here. I can't remember where I seen them. It may be down right over there. Yeah. I think they're right there. Yep, I see the remnants left over. There's some remnants left over of some people had tents up here. Like they left them up here. And all the poles and yep. There it is right here. Seeing the flat spots. They left the pin up here. Yeah, there you go. There's a nice flat spot here. I don't know if I'm gonna stay in this one though. People, stuff got scattered all over the place. Where people have left stuff behind. Made little openings here. It's a little small for my baby bag. Someone to open it up. Right here. I just think they're doing that to get out of the wind. Got a nice breeze blowing through here. opening out right in here. I can see it. Put my bivy bag right inside there. Yeah, I could probably do that. Okay. I have my little camp chair set up here. A cooking station. And what about bears? Maybe a coyote might come in. I'm probably going to close up my screen right now just to keep any creepy callers from getting in there. But this is my setup. I have another light I can use. But I don't know if you can get... Let me get rid of this rock here. Tripping over it. Yeah. Here's my view of the city. I'm not getting much of a sunset. I'm getting something. My head in my pocket. I'm just starting to pick up a little bit of my long sleeve on oh, At least I can start in the snow. Yeah, my thing is I have these lights on me, I can't see nothing at all. That's the only 
really not that cold out here. One cup, eight ounces. Okay. So. He's a soda stove.
hickory mesquite pistachio here. Here we go. Barely picking that light up. There's a car going down the main road. Somebody's got a. I think that's that light where that uh, water decline tank is. And then that. Yeah, that's the Asarco mine. But. Sorry. Get caught on branches. Yeah can't really pick up any city this thing doesn't pick up very well meals almost ready if I can sleep tonight I'm really not that tired
really want to watch me eat anyways. I'll bring it back when I'm done. I finished my meal. stop recording for a while what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my tripod to hang my food bag just to get it up off the ground so the rodents don't get to it and I'll probably put the GoPro on my little tripod here and then move the light to the side and I'll keep that with me so if I need any recording or something comes up anything comes up and I can do it in there Morning. I think I had a pack rat running around me most of the night. slowly coming up
haven't even opened yet. I'm gonna probably call this uh, bucket list accomplished. Yeah, you just come down this way, the easiest route. Gentle. That was a little bit rougher. I went up, but yeah, this is this is the easiest route to get up and down here. I might come out here in a couple years. You just have to remember that there's a wash right over here, and you just follow along the edge of the wash, and it's the easiest way up here. But I might come back in a couple years just to see if I can get to the top up there. Might walk around the base, entire base or something. But I want to check and see if anybody signed my registry up there. But I'm going to call this the end of this adventure and sign off. See you on the next one.